In this lesson, we already have configured the BGP sessions to our customer as well as our peer that connect to TIC1. We will be showing how to send the full table, partial routes with a default and a default route only to our customer. To get started, we are going to a community of 2 colon 30 for routes received from AS30, which is our customer. We are going to use 2 colon 40 for routes received from AS40, which is our peer. We will then use a community of 2 colon 100 for all routes received from our ISP. Open up tick 1 and go to routing, then filters. Click the plus sign to add a new filter for our ISP first. Name the chain ISP in. Go to the BGP Actions tab and under Append BGP Communities, type in 2 colon 100. We put this under Append so that it does not remove any existing communities that may have been previously set by the ISP. Next, go to the Actions tab and set the action to Accept. Click OK. Create a new filter and call the chain Kastashin. Click on the BGP Actions tab and under Set BGP Communities, type in 2 colon 30. This will set all routes received from the customer to have a community of 2 colon 30. Click on the Actions tab and set the action to Accept. Click OK. Create another filter named Peerin. Click on the BGP Actions tab and under Set BGP Communities, type in 2 colon 40. This will set all routes received from the customer to have a community of 2 colon 40. Click on the Actions tab and set the action to Accept. Click OK. Now that we have the inbound filters created, Go to Routing, then BGP. Under the Customer peer, set the Kastashin filter in the Infilter section. Click OK. Set the ISP filter of ISP Dashin as the Infilter for the ISP peer. Click OK. Set the peer Infilter as peer Dashin. Click OK. Go the IP routing table and make sure the routes received from the customer, peer and ISP have the new community set. Now to send only a default route, we will first create a new filter. Name it Kastash out. Under the Actions tab, set the action to Discard and click OK. This will discard all routes to be sent to the customer. We still have the send the default route, however. Create another filter under the chain dash out. In the prefix field, enter in 0.0.0.0/0. In the prefix length field, type in 0. Set the action to accept and click OK. Make sure this new filter is placed above the discard filter for Kastash out. Under the customer peer in the BGP settings, double click the customer peer. At the bottom is a drop down menu for default originate. Make sure that is set to always and set the out filter to Kastash out. Click OK. If we check on the customer router, we should see only the default route. Let's say we want to send partial routes, which in this case is only the single peer we have along with the default. We just need to modify the existing Kastash out filter to include the community of 2 colon 40. Create new filter under the existing Kastash out chain. Under the BGP tab, add the 2 colon 40 community under BGP Communities. Under the Actions tab, set the action to Accept. Make sure the new filter is above the discard filter you created earlier.
Now if we check the customer router, we should see the default plus the peer router slash 24 of 44.44.44.0 slash 24. Finally, if we want to send all of the ISB routes to the customer as well, we can modify the filter we just created above by adding in the ISP community. Edit the cus dash out filter you created above. Under the BGP tab, add a new community of 2 colon 100 and click the invert BGP communities box. Click OK. Now if we check the customer router, we should be able to see all the ISP routes, the peer route as well as the default route.